Hi everybody, how are you doing? My name is Nana Kahlo, of course you know that. How are you? Um, I hope you're wonderful. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic season. We're in the most wonderful time of the year. I wish I could say it was White Christmas, but it's not. I mean, even the Hamatana was helping us a bit, you know, to at least make it a little white. It didn't seem to come out this year for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it's all right. It's a great year. It's been a great year and it's a fantastic season and you know I'm so looking forward to the holiday and all of that and um, I just thought that I should do a short video blog to just share with you guys a couple of things you know about the holiday season and all of that now so particularly in this holiday season yes um, there is the uh, you know being busy trying to buy that Christmas chicken or go to around whichever one that you that's your preference you know buy that holiday dress um, just go shopping buy gifts for family and all of that and just hang out and spend time with family and friends you know there is that on one hand but there's something that is also really common particularly at this time of the year now the year is rounding up really fast I must say it's just a couple of hours to Christmas yay it's just a couple of hours to Christmas you know but the year is is rounding up and there's something that's really common that happens at this time of the year and that is when people begin to reflect you know back on the year to evaluate themselves how they have done um, the things that they could have done better the things that they've achieved and accomplished the things that they could have done better the things that they um, really wanted to accomplish and they couldn't accomplish for whatever reason and sometimes not sometimes as a matter of fact most of the time um, people begin to feel depressed around this period because I mean you've counted the costs you have done all your analysis and it seems like it didn't really measure up so much compared to what you earlier planned probably at the beginning of the year you know we start out the year with you know a lot of great plans new year resolutions and all of that but then somewhere between the second and the third or probably even sometimes the first quarter of the year we start to lose steam and before we know it the year goes by quickly you know I heard this saying one time and I thought it was so true the days go by slowly but the year runs really fast so you can be in today and it's like ah oh, today's going really slow but, but, but I mean by the time you shut your eyes and open it you discover that you're already at the end of the year you know so the year is running really fast and people are beginning to self-evaluate and self-analyze and you know to see how they have done so far and you know the truth of the matter is the reason why actually I'm doing this video is because I fell into that trap and I almost had a mental meltdown like it was almost disastrous uh, you know I started I started out this year with a lot of high expectations and you know all of that and as the year slowly started to wind up by the time it, it hit December it also hit me that this is December in a couple of days this year will be over what and what have I achieved amongst all the many things that I said I was going to achieve and I started to discover that there were some things that I wasn't able to do yet, some things that I wasn't able to accomplish for one reason or the other. And I started to feel down in the dumps. I started to um, really internalize a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have internalized. Meanwhile, I was taking my eyes off the amazing things that I did this year, the amazing accomplishments that God helped me to achieve. I mean, amazing feats, literally, like literally amazing feats, things that even when I was experiencing it or experiencing them at the time, I, I, I wanted to pinch myself, like, is this me? Like, I didn't even plan for this. And you see, that's the amazing thing. The wonderful thing about, I'm sorry that I'm talking about, you know, being a Christian and all of that, but it's who I am. I can never deny who I am. However, um, the amazing thing about walking with God is that there are times that we may make plans and those plans may fall through. However, there are certain things that you didn't even plan. You didn't even budget for yourself. You didn't even ask and God just did them for you. And they were so huge and so amazing, probably even more mind boggling than the things that you, you know, planned to do for yourself. And so basically I started to get down in the dumps and I completely forgot and neglected all those things that God achieved for me and with me and by me and through me I completely you know forgot about all those things and then you know I started to think and then the Holy Spirit started to talk to me like you can't do this there are a lot of blessings that are available at the end of the year there's something called times and seasons and this is a season that is moving out for a fresh season to come and there are gifts and their benefits that are supposed to accrue to you at the end of the season and so if you stay in the place of hopelessness and helplessness and despair and distraught you're going to miss out on those amazing blessings that are supposed to be yours 
by the end of the year and so the enemy is just probably trying to not probably he is actually trying to just rob you of those last minute blessings those things that have your name on it it could even be something that you've been praying for and it's just around the bend just around the corner but you have just gotten so deep into ingratitude and worry i heard recently as well that the opposite of in of gratitude is not ingratitude the opposite of gratitude is worry because then you're taking your eyes off of the things that you have and off of the things that God has done for you and you're not placing your focus on the things that you don't have things that you probably don't even have control over and that was exactly where I was and um, I mean I had to really come to that place where I'm like no for me the truth is I'll be very honest human beings naturally are unthankful it's a sad truth human beings naturally are unthankful and so um, for you to stay thankful you have to do it deliberately it has to be an intentional there has to be some sort of intentionality about it like you decide within your heart David said in, in Psalms I'm not gonna go all spiritual on you but I just I just gotta say this David said in the Psalms bless the Lord oh my soul bless the Lord all that is within me and forget not one of his benefits because human beings tend to forget and when we forget when we're not when we don't think we don't thank you know so I just want to encourage you out there yes this is the season where you know people are making merry and then I mean for those out there who maybe you lost someone or you lost something really precious and really dear to you maybe you lost a family member you lost your husband or your wife you lost a baby you it, it could have been a divorce or that relationship that you thought was going to be you know it's I mean it got broken at the end or whatever it is you lost the job you lost the business deal whatever it is facing some kind of loss or the other I know that it might feel like it's more emphasized particularly in this season where there's a lot of celebrating and you quote and end quote you seem not to have any reason for celebration trust me you have a reason for celebration you do if you check your nostrils and you can still find breath you have every reason to celebrate the fact that you're alive means it's not over like they nobody has any right to even laugh at, laugh at you until the end of the game do you understand what i'm saying so please um don't even get caught in that web of lie or deceit from the enemy that you haven't achieved anything you haven't accomplished anything the fact that you're still alive means that there's still so much more that god wants to do for you and through you and with you and by you and all you just have to do all you just gotta do is just to stay grateful and stay and stay thankful and just I mean and with that the Bible says that um, out of them shall flow thanksgiving and the sound of rejoicing the sound of those that make merry and because of that I will multiply them they will not be small and I will glorify them they will not be few thanksgiving brings abundance being grateful brings a lot of things it, it just opens you up to a lot of things that you probably wouldn't have had ha, had access to if I mean you you didn't so I just want to encourage you out there no matter what it is no matter what it is you're facing just use this time to just spend it spend it in in gratefulness and in gratitude and in thankfulness to God and you know to your family members whichever ones are left those are your family those are your blood and your friends as well never find yourself don't even don't even think about it because God has been faithful and he will forever stay faithful this is a different uh, vlog compared to all the other ones that I've been doing but I'm just glad I'm doing this because I needed to share a personal experience um, so that I can in turn help somebody out there so have a Merry Christmas and a fantastic and spectacular new year and I just want to say this um, this was a word that I heard today and I just want to share it with everyone out there who's watching or who's listening to me first of all it's a season it's a new season yeah this is exactly how it goes it's a new season and it's a season for new things it's a new season and it is a season for new things and then 2017 our ceilings our ceilings yeah our our the, the, our ceilings for 2017 will be our floors for 2018 yes that was exactly the word our ceilings for 2017 will be our floors for 2018 so you're getting ready to be elevated and moved up and promoted to the next level the next phase of your life till then i mean stay faithful stay grateful stay thankful stay committed and don't forget to live your life with as much passion and as much zest as you can muster i love you have a happy holiday bye